Every time I bite into a chocolate-covered cherry, I know what I'm going to find in the center. A cherry. There's no question about it. As I take a bite, I expect that I'm going to taste chocolate, a sweet, drippy syrup, and a cherry. The candy company that makes these sweet delicacies knows what I expect of them. If there's no cherry, sorry, it's just not a chocolate-covered cherry. Yet there are people who say they are believers in Christ, who seldom read the Bible. How can that be? There are others who wear the name of Christ and yet don't enter into conversation with him. By the way, that conversation is called prayer. Others who say they don't need to worship to be a Christian or care for their neighbors to be a follower of Christ. That doesn't make sense to me. Christ wants a connection to all people. Jesus died for the sake of the whole world. There's no question about it. At the same time, to be called a follower is to carry the essential traits of worship, prayer, and scripture. We say Christ lives. Indeed, that is true through these activities. With Thoughts of a Prairie Pastor, I'm Mark Nero.